Hey y'all. Good morning. How you doing? Well, it is our, I think technically our second 2024 trip. Our first one was New Year's itself. We're at one of our favorite places, Willow Tree. Scrabble. Kind of nice on a lazy Susan. And if you watch our videos, you know Dawn and I love that game. Well, Saturday evening is here. It is uh, almost seven o'clock. We are going to watch Halloween on the big screen outside. Um, Crackle, free app, had the original Halloween on from 1978 or 79, something like that. So we're going to watch that tonight. We had a fun day. It was nice and relaxing. Played a bunch of games. Went on a walk this morning, rode our bikes a lot. We ended up going to um, the mall, Grand Strand Mall, I think it is in Myrtle Beach. Spent a little time there. It was fun. We were gonna come back and get in the hot tub. They're totally redoing their, the pool here, which is gonna be great for the summer, but the hot tub was supposed to be open. Dawn called on Thursday, they said it would be open. And actually yesterday they posted on their Facebook page that the pool was gonna be closed. Obviously it's winter, it'd be closed anyways, but that the hot tub would be open. Went there today and it's not. I swear to you, this is easily the third time that we've gone camping in the winter and the hot tub's been out. Oh, more than that because yeah, at least third time. Yeah, so we'll pick you up in the morning. Hey, good morning. Sunday morning. Usually we'd be packing up the leaves, but luckily we got one extra day, so that's nice. Trying to get some steps in here. What temperature is it? It's 38 degrees. God, and it was, what, like 55 yesterday morning? Yeah. And, you know, a little bit sunny, so it wasn't bad, but this 38, it's, whew, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> luckily there's no wind, but... Yeah, so we're going to get the day started in a little bit, show you around a little more, a couple things that they've added. See, it's 
Sunday and not everyone has President's Day off, so decent number of sites have cleared out, but every single site was full. We lucked out and got someone who um, backed out, so we luckily got our site, not necessarily at the last minute, but look at this little guy. Don't get mad at us. If there are babies around, they can hit them. You see behind me there, you can bring your own boat if you'd like. Yeah, it's chilly out. Luckily, it's not windy at all, but it's only going to be in the 40s. Yesterday, it got up to 60, and it was a little bit more sunny, so it wasn't bad at all. But today's a little chilly. Let me show you something. This is number three here. In the past, I don't know, six months. Let me show you. Look at that. another TV down the drain something must have hit right here I don't know I don't know if the TV swung and I guess it must have hit the lock yeah so that's three TVs in I don't know six months we've replaced the one in the bedroom twice now we're on it we're on our third TV in the bedroom now we got to replace this but I did measure and there's a few different 40 inch TVs I can get in here. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to get a 40 inch TV. Saw a smart TV on Amazon for like 160 bucks. So we'll probably get that. But yeah, three TVs. You know, what's about 150 bucks a piece? That's $450 down the drain. Oh well, life goes on. Remember when I said the hot tub was closed? Well, it's open. Yay, yay. They're doing uh, a lot of upgrades to the pool. Well, they're really not upgrading. I guess they're just redoing it. They also put in a lot of drainage, so they had to uh, pour concrete on Thursday. So we had to wait for that to dry, but it's dry and the hot tub's open. So it's 43 outside and 103 in the hot tub, and it feels great. Of course, the walk home's gonna be a little rough. It's funny, if you look behind me, there's uh, people in sweatpants and coats and hats and gloves and here we are in a hot tub <laughs> evening we're gonna hit the hot tub one more time and then go back and watch a movie
So right in the middle of showing you that sunset on our second trip to the hot tub, battery gave out, and I could have swore I just charged it, but battery on my GoPro gave out. I'm gonna watch a little bit of Penguins hockey on my phone. I just signed in to ESPN Plus here. They sent me an email saying I'm signed in. Even sent me an email saying someone tried to sign in or someone did sign in. But it's not letting me watch it on the big screen here. I, I don't know what's going on. So, watching on my phone here. Well, good morning. We left the campground. We actually just dropped off Breaking Dawn and we are heading home. But before we end this video, we want to give you three things we like about Willow Tree and three wishes we had for Willow Tree. Really, it's one of our favorite RV parks, so it's hard to say anything negative about. But what would be three things we like about the campground? Number one. The amenities. Tons of amenities. Uh, the size of the sites. The size of the sites, number two. It's um, The whole campground is just set up great, and it's very, very um, small. There's 107 sites. Now, there are a couple cottages and some like um, cottage homes there, but all in all, for what they offer, it's very small, so it's kind of a uh, slow pace. It never seems, it never feels packed, even if it's fully sold out. Yeah, summertime, it, it never seems packed. Fourth, we've been there 4th of July, never seems packed. So that's number two. Number three is, what would you say? I personally love the trails. I love the trails they've added, the biking trails, the yeah. biking trails. And actually, I meant to tell you last night, I looked at a sign. They have over 400 acres at that campground. Over 400 acres. And they've just opened up all kind of trails. So there's got to be miles of trails that you can walk, ride your bike, take your golf cart. So those are the three things we like about the place. In reality, we love almost everything about the place. But what would be three wishes? Well because they don't have cable you'd want a stream like we had some cold days we wanted a stream the wi-fi's awful yeah the so wi-fi's I, slow yeah. yeah so i wish they'd either have cable or better wi-fi so number two i'm going to take number two number two for me would be um maybe an on-site restaurant or like a it's, snack shop yeah it's it's you, you know, it's probably a 15, maybe even 20 minute drive if you wanted to go out and get something to eat. There's not a whole lot in the area. Um, and then if you wanted to go to Myrtle Beach or North Myrtle, it's half hour to 40, 45 minutes. So maybe an on-site restaurant would be number two. And the third wish is our favorite thing at all campgrounds. Lazy River. Lazy River. We just love Lazy River. So we'd love them to add that. That'd be great. All right, so there's three things we like and three things we wish they had. We are heading out again when? End of March for spring break, and we're headed to the St. Simons area of Georgia. Sweet. St. Simons Island, yeah. All right, well, as always, we'll see you again real soon. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, comment, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.